2.7 conducting sphere with hemispheres hemispheres eight different potential now in this one you remember that our main equation was that phi of x is equal to a x square minus a square divided by 4 pi and then whole integral from 0 to 2 pi d phi prime and from minus 1 to 0 d of cos theta prime minus v divide by x square plus a square minus 2ax cos of this was gamma and 3 over 2 plus integral from 0 to 2 pi d phi prime integral from 0 to plus 1 and d cos theta prime and plus v divide by x square plus a square minus 2ax cos of gamma and 3 over 2. This was our integral. You know that on this we did some approximation and we calculated that phi of x when x will be along the z axis only then we got some uh, limited solution of this thing which was equal to phi of z and this thing is equal to v 1 minus z square minus a square divide by z into z square plus a squared. This was the solution that we got for only along the z axis. And when we will be at any point, then for any point we will have to solve this equation again. And when we solve this equation again, we take this portion of it and we just convert it into A over X ratios. And those A over X ratios we will have to approximate in the series expansion of the denominator. Now denominator we converted by taking something common of it, something means like x square taking common from it, then this came out to be 1 plus a square x square minus 2 a over x and cos of gamma and this was minus 3 over 2. Then we expanded this function and this function came out to be 1 plus 3 a over x cos gamma plus a over x whole square minus 3 over 2 plus 15 over 2 cos square gamma plus x over a sorry a over x a over x and this is whole cube 
and minus 15 over 2 cos gamma plus 35 over 2 cos cube gamma and plus some other terms. As we will have to solve this integral, now we are not able to solve this integral as a whole. So what we did, we expanded this portion of it. Because here we are having x cube as well here, x minus cube here as well. So we expanded this one and we just search for the uh, cause parts and we came to know that only the odd powers were remaining while the even powers were giving us zero. So this was the one limitation or the approximation that we did. And now here, in this series means we should know that what will be the integral of cos gamma and then integral of cos cube gamma because only the art power will remain while the other powers will go to zero and we solved this thing that integral integral from 0 to 2 pi d phi prime and integral from any value that we get okay let me write this thing in this form so from 0 to 1 d of cos theta prime minus integral from minus 1 to 0 d cos theta prime and then the whole integral is on cos gamma and we came to know that this is equal to 2 pi cos of theta. We found for cos gamma. Similarly we will find the same for cos cube gamma. The other terms will remain, these are just the coefficients, but if we uh, are successful in finding cos gamma, then we should find cos cube gamma as well. And you remember that we started uh, just for, as we started for cos gamma in the previous lecture, here I will start for the cos cube gamma. And I think you will remember that we reached this equation from 0 to 2 pi d phi prime d of cos theta. I am not putting the limit because later on we will put the limits and then cos cube gamma and this is equal to 3 sine squared theta and cos of theta 2 pi by 2 and cos of theta prime by 2 minus cos of 4 theta prime by 4 and plus cos cube theta and cos 4 theta prime divide by 4 into 2 pi. 2 pi is due to this d phi. We derived last time up to this that if we will integrate cos cube then cos cube was equal to sine theta sine theta prime cos uh, theta cos uh, cos phi minus cos phi prime my plus cos theta cos theta prime this was the value of cos gamma when we cube that thing we got 
a lengthy relation and then only the sin square term remained there while the sin and cos multiplied are integrated to zero due to the rd1 function and the other values uh, of cos theta means only the sine square and then the cos all values remain there. So if we integrated this one and we got our result like this, now we will put we will put the uh, like this one that when we will put for cos theta prime 0 and 1 and minus 1 and 0 what we will get. So this will be equal 0 to 2 pi and d phi prime then integral from minus 1 to 0 d cos theta prime minus minus 1 to 0 d cos theta prime and this will be cos cube gamma and this is equal to 2 times for one thing like here this one is symmetric our function here that we are evaluating they are even functions like this is for cos cube gamma this is an even function this is an even function and all is even so when all the functions are even then it means i can write this one 2 0 to 1 right 2 0 to 1 so this one is from 0 to plus 1 so 0 to 1 i can write so what I will write that 2 times 0 to 2 pi d phi prime and 0 to 1 cos cube gamma and this will be d cos theta prime. I will reduce this integral into this integral. Clear? Because d phi is there and this one I wrote like from as you know from minus infinity to plus infinity. You can write this thing as from minus infinity to zero and then from zero to plus infinity. Our situation is like this one. If our function here f or function here f of x if this will be an even function then we can write two times from zero to infinity and f of x so i have just utilized that uh, result here okay when you do integrate this one look here we will have to integrate this one with respect to what? With respect to cos theta prime. So here we are having sine square theta cos theta. They are already there, means they are just constants. Cos theta prime is there. So what it will become? It will become cos cube by 3, right? Means its power. It is not not cos theta you will have not to confuse this thing this is just like a variable cos theta prime is a variable you will have to treat it like this x square by 2 what will be the integral of this the integral of this will be 1 over 2 x cube by 3 not like that cos theta is the it will be sine theta no cos theta is a whole is variable here cos theta prime so we can write it like this it will become cos cube by 3 so it will become cos cube by 6 and then when it will come here then it is like 1 over 4 1 over 4 and then for cos i can write x power 4 by 
okay so it will become plus 1 and then it will be 5 so it's 5 by 5 when I will come here now here are actually two functions what it will be cos cube theta prime cos 4 theta prime it will become cos 7 theta prime so x power 7 clear so the integration will be like that and when you will do integrate and will put the limits then you will have to put the limits means you will put the limit in the whole cos theta the limit of cos theta will be 0 to 1 so here when you will uh, let me do few steps of this one it will become cos cube theta prime divided by 6 cos cube by 6 now for cos cube first you will put means if you take 1 over 6 common of this one then it will be you will put 1 and then 0 so it will be 1 minus 0 so it will be 1 over 6 1 minus 0 so it will be like that not to put the limit in theta but in cos theta as a whole because cos theta prime is the variable so we will have the integral equal to this integral will come out to be 6 sine square theta and cos theta and this will become pi because this is 2 here okay over here these two are cancelling so I will get pi 